Hey guys. Okay. So if my microphone is bland, it's because my headset is playing up and I have no idea why. So like if you could give me tips on how to fix it, please do in the comments. Yeah. Uh my by the way, my headset is the Clear Beat Air Force PX twenty twos and yeah. Okay, let's jump right into it today. Okay. This was um I think it was requested by my good friend Xkilby X Live, which is in one of my previous videos, and he requested how to make a Teamspeak server. Yes. Um. So let me start up my server very quickly. So yeah. Well. Okay, it's up. Okay. So do this. My server, okay. So should be on, okay. Yeah, this is my server. This is what I've been working on for a while. I'll leave the IP to this server in the description. Okay, so now we're going to jump right in and get started with how to make a Teamspeak server. I wish I made some notes. I need to get some stuff before. Okay, to start with, you go to your internet browser and type in Teamspeak dot com. Go to the TeamSpeak website. Okay. It's gonna take a little minute. I'm gonna try and make this as fast as possible because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay. Once you get to TeamSpeak.com, go to Download and TeamSpeak 3. Let's just go to the download page for you. Okay. If you don't have TeamSpeak, you're gonna want to download the TeamSpeak client and the TeamSpeak server. Uh, you'll have to choose it for your um, specific type of computer, but uh, uh, today I'll be doing it for the Windows. I won't. I don't use Mac or Linux or anything else on here. So, to as you can see, there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit option for both server and client. To do check what type of computer you have, go to your Start menu, right-click on the computer, and Press properties. Right here under system, next to system type, it says what type of computer you have. It will either say 32 bit operating system or a 64 bit operating system. Yeah, okay. So after you find out what that is, mine's a 32 bit, so I'll just download that. You also want to do it for the client if you don't have that. You agree, and you press no thanks, take it to download. Press this link to immediately start it for download or just wait for it to download automatically right here. As you can see, it's going to come up with a WinRAR file since I have WinRAR, or it's going to come up with a folder zip file. It doesn't matter what file it comes up with, it should work exactly the same, only this is a little different. Okay, open it up. As you can see, there's another file in here. Wait this for this to load. Okay. Well, hurry up. Wait, there we go. Wait, wrong time now. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. Wait, I want to do this first again. Okay, so you, once you drag that file into your desktop, come on, hurry up. Uh, my computer's being slow on me at the moment. Sorry, guys. Um, I want to get this as done as fast as I can so I can record another video. Okay. And then uh, default server. Sorry guys, this is just going to be a pain. If you can't hear my voice, forgive me, it's not my fault, it's just my headset's playing up at the moment and I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so sorry guys. Come on, hurry up. I really want to do this. Roll. Oh 
gonna take six hours and forty-one thousand days to complete this. Clear hole. Okay. And my computer's just messing up for some reason. Oh, come on. If you don't have WinRAR, just do what I just did, and then it's gonna pop up on your screen. It's not gonna do this. This is going to be doing right now. Okay, after that, okay, you open up the folder, and you press the double tap on the TS3 server underscore win 32. Or it's gonna say 64. I don't know because I don't use a 64 little a 64 bit computer. Okay, so after you open that up, it's gonna ask for this. It's your verification. If you don't want this thing to pop up when you open your um, server again, untick this box. But if you want it to stay like that, just tick it. Mine's gonna. I just want that to happen all the time. So yeah. Okay. Press one, and then your server's gonna start up. Now, you're going to want to make a new text document in this file, in this folder. So, name this pass. Okay, after that, you just double click on that, open the text document. Now you're going to want to wait for your server to come up with this uh, thing that it comes up with. It's right here. Okay. Now you press this, and you copy all... Now you copy all these into this file. They, to be honest, they don't really do anything in this file. They're just there it's for safekeeping, so you don't lose these things. By the way, this is not going to be my default server anymore. Okay, guys. And then you press play. Now to join your server, all you need to do is go to TSV, press connections, connect, and then the server address will be localhost address. Okay, you just. Just put localhost under that, then put whatever you want there, and then just click there, and then just leave everything else how it is, and then you press connect, and then it's going to ask for your privilege key. You've already got this, it's in your pass, oh, okay, it's in your pass, it's this big long one right down the bottom. Copy that, go over to TeamSpeak, paste that in there. Press OK. As you can see, privilege key su successfully used. Whoops. Okay. Now you're a server admin. That's basically all I'm going to show you about your server. I'm going to do another thing on how to make channels, spaces, and how to work with your permissions. I'm also going to get my friend Morn on here to help me. And yeah. So Microphone sound activated. Resumed. Now it's working because I have special talk on. It's really stupid because my microphone is messed up. Okay. After that, you don't really need to do anything else with this apart from join, so you can exit that. Now, to port forward, all you do is go to command prompt and type in IP... Oh, no. So you go to command prompt, open in... Type, okay, type in CMD, right click on it, run as administrator. Press continue. This allows you to do every command that you need. Type in ipconfig. Now, once you press enter, it's going to come up with all these different things. You want your default gateway and your IP IPv4 address. Now, after you to with your um, default gateway, type that into your browser. As you can see, mine's okay. Your username is going to be admin. Your password is go either going to be admin or password. By the way, my password's completely. My password is completely changed, so you won't find out what it is. Press enter, and you're going to be taken to your internet um, internet page. Now, to find port 40, it's either under, under advanced or just somewhere. It's just somewhere on your internet. I don't know what internet you have, so yeah. Okay, so now you're going to put in what you want to what you want this to be called. So, TSV three. 
and regular IP is your IP for uh, IPv4 address, which is what you put in for local IP. Now you put UDP for the 9987, which is what people will use to connect to your server, and then you just put in 9987. Put that down about there, in there. You also do that for the for the TS for the, for the other two. These two just activate the voice and something else. I can't remember. But they are TCPs. And then you just make sure they work, and yeah. And then you just go to what my IP dot org. Press enter, and it's going to come up with your IP. Now, to get to this, like really easy, you just go to connect, backspace that, copy this, paste that in there, quotation 9987, connect. Disconnected. And it just joins your server and everyone can join your server. Whoever you give this IP to, and they have TeamSpeak, they will be able to join your server. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rewind, rewind. Okay. Okay. Th about another 30 to 45 seconds. Okay. With this, I really need help earning more money so I can get a new computer to record and play more games so I can record more games for you guys and record more videos. And I just need some more money so I can get someone to get a long enough internet cord to drag it down into my special little place so I can I'm in complete privacy and I can record. I also need more money to get a new headset because this one is just so annoying right now because it it's just playing up it's so bad. Okay. So yeah, that's all for today guys. Okay, I hope this helped. Please leave a like if this helped you. I don't care if you subscribe or dislike or comment, I don't really care, but I do need suggest if you comment, please leave suggest also leave suggestions for music for my intro and my outro for my video it, it would be greatly appreciated by me and everyone that watches my videos so thanks guys for watching peace out guys